Good afternoon, Senators. My name is John Elford, and I'm the senior pastor at University United Methodist Church here in Austin. I've been following some of the testimony over the past few days and heard the questions that you've been asking the different agencies. And have we cut out all the waste and fraud and abuse? Have we cut unnecessary administrative costs? Do we really have to cut services to all these people that are here in this room who came out to testify? As a local pastor who also has to balance budgets in difficult times, I know that this kind of scarcity thinking leads only one place, to fear. These statements are an invitation to everybody who receives state funding to hoard whatever scarce resources they have. These statements can cause people to turn inward and, and withdraw. Instead of simply saying that, Everyone must suffer together because we have so little. I would hope that you, our leaders, would encourage everyone to pull together and help each other out of the abundance that we've been given. Aren't we a community richly blessed by our Creator and committed to serve one another? Don't those of us who have much have a powerful obligation to care for our most vulnerable, the ones who will be hurt the most by the cuts that some imagine? Is slicing and dicing a budget really the very best that we can do in our great state? As a United Methodist pastor, my own tradition suggests that God has a vision for humanity that far exceeds our imagination. As our elected leaders, I hope and I pray that you will challenge us to take courageous, even sacrificial steps together, that you'll find creative ways to fund all of these programs so that we might live not out of scarcity, but out of that promised abundance. Thank you.